And thank you. With the fragile state of Florida's tourism industry, Gulf Coast residents are doing everything in their power to get businesses back on their feet. Tonight, a prominent musician and the official mayor of Margaritaville is leading the way to boosting tourism there. Melissa Yeager joins us live tonight from Pensacola. Well, there's a lot of good news here tonight. First of all, we attended a briefing for Ge Governor Chris today. And first of all, they told him that the National Hurricane Center is now issuing warnings for that platform where the Deepwater Horizon uh, was. And they are giving it a 0% chance of the winds from Tropical Storm Alex actually affecting that area. So he was very happy with that. He was also very happy to hear the news that very few and very, very small tarballs washed up to get today. So again, that was great news. Then combine that with the fact that Margaritaville, the hotel, opened today. They opened it up to their the doors to locals to remind them what Gulf Shore living is all about. For what his song Margaritaville has conjured up in the hearts of tourists. I've been through hurricanes, earthquakes. I've been shot at by the Jamaican SWAT team. Uh, nothing really bothers me now. And we're we're going to be open for business and come hell or hot water. Jimmy Buffett's hotel is stirring those same emotions in the hearts of business owners like Ken Rudsky. For him to be here and support his roots, yeah, you're doggone dog, dog on right. It, it makes a world of difference to us. Ken owns a restaurant in nearby Navarre. For this establishment to be as beautiful as it is and open at the time it does, it's inspirational to me and my fellow businessmen who have been here for years and years that we will survive, we will make it, and we've got confidence that uh, some of the big wigs and the big powers are with us. The hotel boasts breathtaking views, luxurious rooms, and of course, margaritas. The hotel made it its mission to open before the 4th of July holiday. We just couldn't wait. We were ready and we wanted to let the community come in and see us. So we opened our doors for open house. And I just can't believe how many people have shown up. I mean, we've probably seen a thousand people. With so much of Florida's income based on tourism, the hotel's opening also is a sweet song to Governor Christ. Jimmy Buffett's a great Floridian. Cares a lot about our state, clearly cares a lot about our environment. Uh, but his entrepreneurial spirit cannot be put down, uh, no matter what, and that encourages a lot of people. And right now, we're giving you a live look at that new hotel scheduled to open tomorrow at 4 p.m. It's just down from where we are here at the pier on Pensacola Beach. And coming up tonight at 10 and 11, we're going to have more about that uh, briefing that we were invited to attend that Governor Chris had. They talked a lot about how exactly hurricanes would affect that oil spill and whether we could expect to see oil wash up on our shores. Of course, again, we'll have more on that tonight at 10 and 11. We are live in Pensacola Beach. Melissa Yeager, Wink News, now.